I do, how big are you? Yeah, I do. Oh my lord! I think you're on. Tank? Yeah, I would start reeling. Should I get up here? I'd start reeling. Should I get up high? Yeah. Don't get that much line left either. And I got eight pound test on like a dummy. Oh God. No, once you get down here, you're good, Grandpa. Okay. Yeah. Are these fractures solid here? That one's not. <coughs> the rest of them are. There you go. We did it. Good job, Grandpa. What is up, MFers? Welcome to uh, Windy Bank Fishing with the master of the rocks. My old man. Got, got Dad out yeah. of here. Actually got Becky and Osborne out here, too, for the weekend. And... Uh, I don't even, it's Thanksgiving weekend. We decided we were gonna come to the beach and, and eat some eat some foods out here. Why not? It's freaking beautiful. As you can see, we ain't in Nebraska. It's not 10 degrees. A little windy out here, but uh, we're chasing giant stuff. Trying to get dad on a giant fish today. We got some poles out. We just went to the, the store, actually. There's not hardly bait anywhere, but we're using big chunk bait like these guys right here because there's like no live bait in the peninsula right now. And uh, you're not gonna wanna miss what just happened with that right there. It was not a small fish. I think it was the biggest uh, of this caliber fish, the species of fish that I've caught actually. But as you can see, we got a lot going on. We got people fishing back behind us. Giant rocks, a lot of wind. We got cruisers out there. Big old carrier ships rolling into the port. And uh, we got some brewskis too. So yeah, we do. we're gonna drink brewskis sure. and See what we can catch out here. Absolutely. You guys have been asking for some uh, cut bait bank fishing videos. It's been too damn long since we've done it. And then a little bit later, um, I promised Oz we're doing some crab fishing. So stay tuned for that too. We'll be throwing some turkey necks, or no, chicken necks. And, and I'll show you guys how you can catch crabs using chicken necks. Be interesting. <laughs> so you guys have seen this rig before. Basically, you tie a Carolina rig and then you fix one of these weights. To it. It's called a spider weight. The best thing about that is you don't have to put as much weight on there, but it grabs it with those little claws that come out. Things are freaking expensive too. I need to talk to Brennan and see if we can get a little spider bait, spider weight mold. Maybe we can make them ourselves. And then, like I said, this bait is uh, no longer alive, but big old seven knot Gamakatsu circle hook. We got 30 pound Kopali and I think 80 pound braid going to that on all these setups. And uh, yeah, all different types of stuff comes by here, even dolphins and sharks and whatnot. So we don't know what we're gonna catch, but that's part of the fun. Check these guys out. Those guys are, that's big fish candy. We're gonna let those guys thaw out a little bit. Apparently the damn island doesn't got no live bait right now. So we were gonna use cut bait anyway, but I don't know. Maybe we'll catch something we can cut up too. Look at that beautiful knife. That's what you want. Yeah, we're gonna need this to fall a little bit. This is a good time to get here because uh, it's a little early. The tide is just starting to turn and come in. And you guys can tell it's been raining like crazy. The wind's been blasting. This water is chocolate milk. But hopefully as the tide comes in, you'll see that green water that's out there get tighter and tighter close to us because the current's gonna push all this muddy water as it goes into the, uh, the bay back there. Yeah. I think you're on. Jake? Yeah, I would start reeling. Should I get up here? Let's start reeling. Should I get up high? Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, he broke it off. Damn. Oh. I wonder if it was a shark. I didn't even get to feel it. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. I think it may have been a shark. I don't know. God, I reel it up. It. And then I reel it up. It. Yeah, you should have been pulling maybe. Oh, I don't know if he... Oh, that's all right. We'll put it in there in a second. Okay. Where do you want me to do? Reel it in. There's a lot of line out still. I don't know. I feel like it must have sawed off on the rock because a shark wouldn't have bit up there. No? No. That's weird. Good sign though. Yeah, that was a good fish. The way you took it. I can't believe you broke it off that easy. Yeah. Must have just got a rock just right. That should be good. Here, let's sum out. I'll reach out here. Oh, oh, yeah, you got a jam on, dude. I do. 
Yeah, that's the right kind there. Yeah, it is. Will you reel that one in? Oh. Yours? Yeah. Woo! Tighten that drag up a little bit. Break, Break it. Real quick. There we go, finally. Good one? Yeah, big bull red. Need to get him out of this uh, other pole, but. No, he'll come back. Might have to have you uh, take the rod while I land him, though. Do what? You might have to direct him down there while I land him. Yeah. You mean that rod? Yep. Yeah. Don't know. I haven't seen him yet. Sure is. Get by me here. See if I can do something falling in the damn ocean. No, you don't want to go down here. Here, take this for a second. I'm gonna get my other camera. Okay. I don't want to fuck you up. So hold, hold the rod up high and keep it tight. <laughs> yeah, they're strong. Shit you now. <laughs> oh my god. Got it? Yep. Now I'm gonna get down. Shoot, he's already right there. There he is. Stay away from the camera. No, I know. <laughs> you might be uh holding this while I go land him down there though. Oh, man. <laughs> Unless you wanna land him. There there he is. Look at him. See how big he is? Yeah, I did. Oh my lord! Oh, that's a beauty! Yeah, that's a big old bull red. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Yeah, that's fantastic. That broke up my line. Yeah, one of them. Woo! That is awesome. That is. That is. I'm trying to decide where the best place to land him is. If it's down here. Well, They're over here. Now. Keep them above the rocks. Come here, big girl. Come here, big girl. Come on. Oh, that's a big old thing. Yeah, that's terrifying. <laughs> Dad, you got the net, right? What? <laughs> Come on, big girl. None of that. Oh. <laughs> Woo. That's a big one. That's a nice one. Ah. How big is that? That's a giant. God dang. Oh. Yeah. Hurting my hand to hold her. Yeah. <laughs> God pulled me right off the platform. Here. I saw that. That's yeah. a freaking long one. Yeah. Holy crap. Uh, that's Better watch out. Yeah. Found the only unstable rock. That's okay. That's a good one if we're gonna wait around and not get one to bite forever. Might as well be this one. I don't know how 
how big. Woo! Giant one. All right. I'm definitely not the caliber of coleslaw. <laughs> I don't know how long it is. I measured them on my rods, so we'll see when we get down there, but I'm gonna get them back in the water quick without busting my ass. Yeah. Ah. Woo. Yeah, definitely. Oh, he's doing good. Go on out there. Woo! Maybe. Turn. There you go. Oh. Yeah, there you go. That was awesome. That was a blast. Deal. <laughs> Never says open. Wow, he's even got a sign in there that says open. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hey, I'll, I'll take a guy live. Oh. Yeah, live mullet. Okay, yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Been catching any fish lately? I know on a jetty, day before yesterday and day before they were catching bull reds just walking to the end of the cement. Really? But another guy said, he called, Albert, big head. Y'all need a dog? Y'all find coons or rabbits? <laughs> That's about all that summer she's been for. Uh, you got live mullet? What? Yeah, they're $6 a day. Okay. And well. I got dead ones for cut bait. And okay. Six for six dollars and I got... Come here, behave. Uh, crabs for $3 a pound. Okay, can we do, uh, we'll do two, two dozen of the uh, live mullet and then six of the the uh, frozen mullet? All right. Yes, please. I've got many left at rain, but I'm not catching out no more. Oh, fuck. Man, you did. Yeah, I don't know what. Okay. Yeah, look at this grab. <laughs> dead mullet right there. Perfect. That's exactly all what right. we're looking for. Uh, $18 all together. Got it. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. We might be back tomorrow. Have right, a good thank one. Thank y'all. Yep. Yeah. Well, you could have ridden. Well, the illegal you right in front of the sheriff. I was going to say, you could have uh, gone where the route was. Hi, Oz. We got to be very careful here, Osborne. We got to stay out of the street and away from all the hooks and crap. Everything that's on the ground. Do you want to try to catch a crab? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Come here. We saw a bunch of crabs a second ago at the bait shop. Got a munch. That was a big red. Of course, there's people fishing where we, the only spot where we can wade to where the fish are, and they're casting into like an inch and a half of water. They don't know that though. You ready? Yeah. Okay, come here. We got to go by the water where the crabs live, right? We got to tie on a chicken neck, don't we? Those look good. They're cheap, huh? Yeah, that. All right, so we just got to tie it on. We don't even need a hook. We got to get the net out of the truck, though, too. That's a yucky little chicken neck, isn't it? Wow. We just throw it out there and wait like fishing, right? Watch this. Build some more line up. The chicken go. It's out there. We got to wait for the crabs. We need the net, too. Do you want to hold on to this? You can hold it tight and you can sit over here if you want to. Let's find ourselves a, something to stake that down with and we'll make another one. We'll get a bunch of lines out. Deal? <laughs> oh man. Just getting ripped over here. Don't get that much line left either. And I got eight pound test on like a dummy. Oh God. No! Sorry, I don't got very much line on this one. <laughs> I don't know how big he is. He took me going the other way though. I'll be a miracle if I get this in. I left the eight pound test on it. Like a dummy. He about spooled me. Ozzy, I got a big fish can't tell if it's a big bowl or if it's just like a bigger slot one but it looks like it's in the 30 inch -ish range don't have much line on here I can pull them this way now come here Oz. it's pretty good size i couldn't tell if it's a big bowl or if it's just a, another solid one 
I had to like tighten my drag all the way down a second ago when I first got it because uh, it almost spooled me. It almost took me all the way down to my backing. Oh, <laughs> looks pretty big. That's a big one. Might be one we can eat though if I could get it in. You want me to get in there? Yeah, that would be helpful. But you're not very helpful, so at the same time, you might just wreck it for me. You might. Honestly, let me just beach it because. Okay. It's uh. I might be able to grab a hold of it. Yeah. It's a good, good slot if we want to keep it. Big, big slot fish. Here comes your big bass, Osborne. This guy's got a nap, man. Ah, oh, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I think ours is a little smaller than that one. Definitely. Yeah, he got a good This one. one might actually be a slot. Sure. Thank you very much. Good work, Dad. All right. <laughs> Heck yeah. Deal. Right in the corner. That's a perfect slot size. It is. Yeah. Have you ever cleaned one of those? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to clean his. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done Thank it. You. No, that's perfect. How do you do so, it? Uh, we usually just half shell them, actually. So you just you mean? You, t you, t you cut about right there down to the spine, fillet the whole, take the whole thing off, and leave the skin on, and then you can cook it right there on the grill with the skin on. Skin, leave the scales on there too? Yeah, leave the scales and skin. Usually oh, put, okay. put like some olive oil and like salt and pepper on the fillet side and do, put that down first for like five, ten minutes on the grill. Yeah. And then flip it over the scale side. Super, it's, it's low temperature. You, you can get it for like 20 minutes. No kidding. And they're super good like that. But yeah, that's a that's a perfect size. That's probably like a 27 inch one. 26, 27. Probably. Yeah. Cool. Deal. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so 24 to there. Yeah. And then he's another inch and a half, two inches. Yeah. So he's about 26. Yahtzee. Yeah. We did it, Osborne. Oh. Catch a big red with the spot. Look at that. Look at that. Is that a big bass? I'll give a kiss. Can you give a smooch? Oh. Daddy, give us first. No, want to do another one? Yeah. No, <laughs> just one <laughs> switch. Forgot to hit record. You bet. This is so badass. I didn't really talk about too much what we were doing there, but we went over to this little backwater area that we fished from the bank several times and we couldn't really get on the spot we wanted to, but we could get close. And so I put a heavy weight on my really light rod with my light line, made as long a cast as possible, sent it to the damn moon and uh, got it to where I needed to get it. And about 10 minutes later, a 26 and a half, 27 inch, Redfish comes and freaking gulps it. Thought I was gonna get spooled several times there because, uh, well, there's not very much line on it. Once I cast it out, it's probably 80 yards, 70, 80 yards. I mean, I threw the son bitch to the moon, but luckily I, uh, I got her in. And now we're having some surf and turf tonight. Redfish and steak and burgers. And Ozzy might be in bed by the time we eat because he's being very naughty. You guys probably heard me explain the uh, recipe on how to cook these things to the people that had never caught a redfish before and wanted to keep their bull red they caught, but salt, pepper, a little bit of Old Bay, and some olive oil. And we're gonna put this on the grill first, right ahead of the steaks. Ozzy, look how fresh this is. Oh, jeez. A big bass. It is a big bass. A big redfish bass. <laughs> Mmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> oh. 
Jeez, you want a cough on it? Here, come look at the redfish bass. All right, beer run. Grandpa's doing a beer run. Wazi well, looks at the redfish bass. Be oh, careful! First thing that's going on, Zumos, Cajun style. Got the redfish, flipped, They're looking delicious. Boudin's starting to crack a little bit, but those are gonna come off first anyway, so that's perfect. Some ribeyes. And Rebecca's craving a hamburger. Don't ask. Whoa. Oh, that look good. You got mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, steak. Look good. And you get to eat over your Natty Light placemat. Wow. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome.